Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 16th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun. Images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with the dew. No major solar flares to talk about. Small CME from that plasma filament eruption in the bottom right hand corner. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. No sunspots that are turning in, but quite a bit of activity on the backside of the sun, as noted this week. You can see things really firing up there. Just see that last plasma filament. And as well here on the outgoing disc, this is where we saw the most recent coronal mass ejection. Right there. Another propelled plasma filament ejection. Looking at multi-spectrum here, the last 48 hours of events. You can really see a heliosphere in action. Lots of plasma filaments across the surface of our sun and as well a few small coronal holes building north and south. And then equatorial in the last few images here. It's hard to tell if it's mixed there with the plasma filament. 171 angstroms. No sunspots. No earth-facing sunspots right now. And it's been quite some time since we haven't had earth-facing sunspots. So the only sunspot activity is turning away. Right-hand side, you can see the activity there. Otherwise, pretty quiet on our sun the last 48 hours, except for plasma filaments. Let's hope the rest of them stay intact. Current space weather conditions, there are none to talk about, and solar wind speeds are coming in at 396 kilometers per second. Super fast, folks. Solar X-ray flux, most recently showing a moderate C-class solar flare. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Solar proton flux is low and geomagnetic activity is low. So no auroras or northern lights tonight. Minor at best. Having a look at the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. Showing space weather coming our way. As we are set to get a glancing blow of some activity here. 19th into the 20th. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. That was yesterday's CME taking off towards... Mercury, and then recently today with that plasma filament, did create another CME taking off towards Venus. A little green circle there. Now, Lasco 2 showing the last 48 hours space weather events. We did also just recently pick up another small CME after that large one we saw yesterday coming from the north region. Right there. Now watching the last few images here on the left-hand side, did see a small CME taking off right there. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as that is pretty quiet as well. Earthquake morning still exists because we have not seen strong earthquake here in the last little bit. Strongest today being a 5.7 here in Sulawesi, Indonesia. 302 kilometer depth, pretty deep for the region. And that is where we saw a very large earthquake many years ago, which devastated the region with tsunamis. Looking at earthquakes here in Fiji, deepest the past 24 hours, 596 kilometer depth. As well, 4.8 ring, ringing out there, 72 kilometer depth. And as well, another 4.5, 539 kilometer depth. So quite a few deep thrust earthquakes today. And there are those New Zealand earthquakes. Not much has happened since yesterday. Indonesia, lots of activity. 4.4 here reported. Uzu Islands, Japan. And as well, a 4.7 here reported Yemen, Hadabu, Yemen. And as well, 4.2 Afghanistan. And then northward here towards the North Pole, 4.9 here. It's Valbard and Jan Mayen, 4.9 magnitude earthquake north of the Rick James and Iceland. 4.5 here ringing out just recently 
Chile, 121 kilometer depth, but pretty quiet. Still, South America and Central. And United States has gone completely quiet today as well. Only 170 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. According to USGS, we're going to look at them right here. But I wanted to show you, this is the last month for earthquakes. A quick glance at what's happening all month here. This is the last 24 hours. And now they're reporting 186 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. So still below average. We should be up at around 200. But notable activity west and north of Yellowstone. Minor activity ringing out through Montana. Silvergate, Montana is western Montana. As well, Lima and Mammoth, Wyoming. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about and nothing really peculiar for earthquakes. It's just way too darn quiet right now. So heads up, everybody. Stay aware, prepared. Something's got to give here soon, especially with all the deep earthquakes that we've seen recently. And I mean, look at this. Four points around the world right now. Northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. Deep earthquakes. Pounding Italy. Japan, Fiji, and South America. Something's got to give. Either Iceland's going to pop big time, or maybe another underwater submarine volcano. We've seen many eruptions over the past few years in Iceland, expecting an even bigger one. Volcanologists and as well geologists through the region are expecting an even bigger eruption quite possibly a thousand year event. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well most recent volcanoes getting updated. We've got Senge in Ecuador. As well, Era in Japan. Dekono in Indonesia. Reventador in Ecuador. Sabancaya in Peru. Popocatetl in Mexico. And as well, Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia. Kluchevskoy in Russia. Fuego, Guatemala. Semeru, Indonesia. Shevelich in Russia. Santa Maria, Guatemala. That's a lot of volcanoes getting updated today. Counted right there about 11 in the past eight hours. Having a look at satellite imagery around the world, we do have quite the big systems affecting the Gulf and the North Atlantic right now. Tropical, post-tropical, or sorry, downgraded tropical storm 22 is a live potential tropical cyclone. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, we do have tropical cyclone Mal, who just finished heading through Fiji. And low pressure systems still locked over the Australian continent, bringing multiple rounds of daily moisture and as well, lots of thunderous events. So heads up. Interesting system heading into Saudi Arabia. And as well, multiple low pressure systems coming in to coastal Europe. Let's get to windy weather forecast here as we have an interesting system developing and then moving towards Nova Scotia in the long range forecast here. You could see a very intense strong winds, torrential downpours with that system coming in the next few days and as well Colorado low or Gulf low wherever it came from is going to be ravaging Ontario and as well interesting a low Hanging out through Central Atlantic. And then watch as huge high pressure ridge moves in. And Alberta Clipper develops in the long range. But two cold high pressure ridges moving in for the long range here. As you can see, most of the continent is blue. So minus and below freezing temperatures expected. Could see our first snowfall 21st, November 21st to 22nd for Ontario. Having a look at over Europe and Africa, 
multiple low pressure systems affecting you this week. And in the long range, we'll watch for blizzard like conditions for parts of northern Europe. And as well, thunderous conditions through the Mediterranean as two lows join forces there. Overlooking Australia and Southeast Asia. Still got interesting system heading up into Myanmar and as well multiple lows here affecting the Australian continent. Watch for thunderstorms daily across northern parts of Australia. So watch for wildfire ignitions. Stay tuned to local radios and media outlets to stay aware and prepared. Having a look here over the North Pacific, big low here developing in the long range, heading towards North BC and Alaska. Watch for intense weather, extreme weather, and as well, heavy snowfall amounts for the region. And then watch in the long range, big lows coming out of Eastern Russia. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.